How's it going guys? Welcome back to Blue Shooting and welcome back to Bubble- uh, what am I saying? It welcome back to Ethereal Enigma. I don't know what day of the week it is. I don't know what I'm recording, but apparently it's this. Okay, thank you so much for your patience. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's pretty much gone, but I had a sty build up in my eye, which is effectively just- it's a- it's a part of your eye gets, like, infected and it swells up and it becomes very painful and it's very, like, itchy and just horrible and it kind of came with, like, some fever and, like, headaches, mostly migraines. I was just out of it for a few days, but I'm finally back. I'm feeling a lot better now, so I'm going to do a quick recording. And I thought Ethereal Enigma, whilst it, it also just in the timeline of it being the day before it normally would come out, it's also just a good lighthearted one I could do where I don't think I'll have to worry too much about, like, I don't have to, I don't have to push myself too hard and I, it's not going to be too emotional or anything. Not that I think the Muddle Love one's even going to be that emotional. I'm pretty sure that one's almost finished anyway. But yeah, we're also pretty much going to be done here. Knowing my luck, they're going to both wrap at the same, same time. So we'll have to see how that goes. But thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your patience if you've been waiting for a few weeks. I hope you are enjoying yourself. And we have a few new subscribers. Hopefully you're checking this out. And thank you for that. And if not, and you've been here for a while, thank you so much. I still appreciate you for every little second of it. But let's dive right into this. So we are here now to be like where we're, we sp stayed the night at Kira's house, which is pretty cool, <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. But you know, we're, we also have to realize that today's also the day we say goodbye. And so, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not sure what it's all about, but let's let's find out together. But yeah, waking up at Kira's house, which suspiciously looks like our Ace Academy house. I mean, am I crazy? Like, I feel like it looks very similar to it. But maybe it's in the same neighborhood or something. Anyway, let's jump into it, shall we? I'm awoken by a gentle shaking. Blinking open my eyes, Kira's face focuses in, uh, focuses into view. This is something I could get used to. <laughs> yeah. Lucky duck. <laughs> morning. Good morning. Peering outside, the dawn is barely broken. It's really early. This is when we're supposed to meet everyone at the shrine. Right. Don't want to forget that. That's right, Harlan's leaving today. The sobering thought fully wakes me up. I'll be ready in a moment. She nods. I get up and quickly splash my face with water while Kira waits for me by the front door. The day seems so far away. It hardly, it's hard to believe it's finally here and Harlan will soon be home. This is sad. This, I bet this is the last episode. As soon as I'm ready, I meet Kira by the door. We head towards the shrine. She slips her hand into mine as we walk th through into the rolling fog. The crisp, cool air crackles with energy as if ready for Harlan's departure. Once we reach the shrine, we step through the gate to see uh, Nil waiting for us by the main hall. Erlin is beside him, while the rest of our friends and family are nearby. Erlin pauses, glancing at e uh, uh, each of us. Her voice cracks when she finally speaks. You're all here. Of course we're freaking here! Of course we are! We wouldn't miss saying goodbye to our friend. Seriously. Like, as obnoxious as you were the first few days, like, she's actually been a pretty cool character. I do think I'm going to have to take a quick dive, like, over the weekend, uh, especially if this is the last episode, and I see what her, the differences between her story and the Kira story, like, the, well, like, the romance paths. I'm really curious. Thank you, everyone. You don't know how much you each mean to me. Mina's eyes bubble with tears. She races towards the airline and throws her arms around her in a big hug. I'm going to miss you so much! Fetch, man. I'm getting kind of sad. I, it, uh... I'll miss you too. I wish you had more time here. There's so much I still want to ask you about being Velden. Perhaps you'll have a chance to visit your heritage. Velden welcomes you anytime. Yeah, I think as soon as you're out of school, uh, uh, Mina, you should definitely go. I want to go too. Maybe me and Kira could go. Mina smiles. I'd like that. Erlen turns to Antemiko. The same offer stands for you too, of course. Thank you, dear. Antemiko grins as she pulls Erlen into a hug. I'm so glad I had a chance to meet you. You tell Ida to take it easy on you, okay? Sometimes she overdoes it with her missions. I will. Thank you for taking such good care of me. You too, Uncle Hajime. He grins, pulling her into a brief side hug. We're going to miss having you around the house. Come visit whenever you like. As Uncle Hajime lets her go, Erlen turns to Kira. Thank you for being someone I could trust from the start. I don't believe I'd have made it this far without your support. What am I, chop liver? I, to be fair, though. To be fair, I wasn't as helpful as I could have been. <laughs> Kira nods. I'm glad to have been of help. They both smile as another voice interrupts them. Don't forget me! Who? Kosei bounds forward into Erlen's view. She giggles. I could never forget you, Kosei. Hey, she said the name! He grins broadly she says his name. Come find me when you return. 
Even after I'm a famous soccer player, I'll still make time for you. I'll keep that in mind. Finally, Ireland turns to me. I suppose your burden is now lifted. <laughs> Far from a burden. Man, this must be so much more traumatic if you've been in a relationship with her at this point. I'd be like... <laughs> that'd be like way harder. What'll I do with all my free time? <laughs> but it's... I, as much as I would like to clear the air, like, it's this is serious time. And she was always more serious. I never thought of you that way. I know I was. But you helped me learn how to stand on my own two feet. Thank you for everything. I couldn't have done it without you. You know it's serious when she's actually talking like that. I'm glad to have helped. With all her goodbyes done, Erlen steps to, steps to Nil's side. Are you ready, your highness? Yes. He nods. Stepping back, he reveals a scepter. Then he points it at the sky, muttering a few words under his breath. In a flash, the sky parts into a blazing rainbow of shapes and glowing colors. They dance faster than my eyes can trace them. As the colorful storm swirls above, Erlen looks over her shoulder, smiling one last time. When she looks forward, both she and Nil disappear. The remaining silence is deafening. It returns all at once, storming the air and filling the, filling the gaps that had been displaced. Erlen disappeared, just as quickly as she'd fallen into my life. Kira finally speaks. She's really gone. Yeah, I kind of wish it hadn't happened, actually. I think she would've done really well if she'd stayed. She looks at me and I sling my arm around her, squeezing her into a hug. Yeah, but not forgotten. She nods, leaning her head against my shoulder and slides her arm around my waist. Erlen's going to come back. She promised. Yeah, so until then, we'll just have to wait for her together. Exactly. Together. I like the sound of that. I glance at Kira and she smiles. Me too. My gaze travels to the wishing box where it all began. Although it's only been a few months, it feels like a lifetime ago that I was just an unsuspecting kid whose biggest worry was starting at high school. Now I've discovered a family secret, made an unexpected but lifelong friends, and even fallen in love. All because I returned a wallet. It may seem like our adventure has come to a close, but this is just the first chapter of many more to come. Is it really not going to have an epilogue? Is this episode only 10 minutes long? Oh, I'm going to be such a... Oh, no. I'm an idiot. I should have just thrown this on. Gosh darn it. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> I really have to say this was a fantastic... All Pixel Phase games have been very fun. Very, very lighthearted. Nothing too serious. I think... I, I still think Ace is their best game so far. But uh, a fantastic entry. One I definitely wouldn't uh, see anywhere else. Uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't remiss anyone playing. I think this is one I would highly recommend, especially if you just want something that's gonna make you smile, something that's gonna help you like move forward, and I don't know, just find peace in life and just enjoy like a good time you spend together with friends. Like just, even though like it's a high school thing and it's also like targeted towards younger people, it's like it's still enjoyable. Like age isn't really a restrictor of enjoying a good story and even a self-insert story. <sighs> I don't know. People can sometimes make it weird when you like have pseudo crushes or whatever, but I think it's all about like understanding that they're characters and you are designing yourself as a character. I like, look at these, like all these fantastic people. Thank you all so much for your voice work and for your talent that you brought to it. I wish I were talented enough that I could actually be a voice actor. Like I would love to be a, even a small part of a visual novel someday. It'd be super fun. I'm hoping there's an epilogue here, but we'll have to see. The animation's good. Like, it's really starting to feel like someday they're going to make an anime out of this, which would be really cool. All right. Come on, epilogue. Don't just go to the menu. Don't just go to the menu. Oh, yep. There's an epilogue. Yes. It's probably not going to be very long, though. This is still going to be a freakishly short episode. It's been four months since we all said goodbye at the shrine. Erlen's transition out of school was a lot smoother than her transition in. There was some right shuffling on the student council with both Erlen and Daisuke's home, uh, homestay programs ending early. <sighs> Luckily, she had prepped uh, Jiro to take over as a class representative, and so far he's been representing us well. He's no longer such a stick in the bud, and it seems like Erlen's charisma rubbed off on him. Well, that's good. 
Outside of school, the bakery's still going strong. Aunt Emiko and Uncle Hajime are as busy as ever. Even with Mina and Mai's help, my aunt and uncle can barely keep up with the orders. They have, uh, they have hired additional staff. Now that we know Aunt Emiko's Kuchu heritage, she's been brought bolder in embracing her Velden past. Mina and I eagerly listen to her many escapades and stories of what life was like in Velden. Some of her stories are so amazing that I wish I could visit Velden too. I, yeah, why don't you? Heck, maybe you could just make an exchange program. Hey, there's a, there's a, I didn't, I, I didn't know we were going to get this one. Mina is the same as she's always been. Now that there's an additional help at the bakery, she works fewer shifts and uses her extra time to train with her swim club. And boy, is that training paid off. And I know that this 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 scene in particular, like this, just this picture alone, like the pixel fade was very, very much sharing and I remember this. Mina set the record for the fastest individual medley time of her team. She's training hard for the next meet against our rival school. Nice. Hey, Kose. He looks way better at this than he ever does. Kosei's doing equally well in his club. He's made a starter goalie in his team and the first freshman to ever do so. He's still working his job at the arcade and somehow has not lost his pure enthusiasm for dishes. What a what a guy. Even with their busy schedules, Kosei and Mina's relationship is stronger than ever. Although you wouldn't know it by how often they argue. <laughs> That's just how they say love. I don't know. I still don't understand it, but their bickering is how they encourage and support each other. It's a strange way to show their affection, but effective nonetheless. It's like, whatever floats your boat, man. As for Erlen, we left off. We were left wondering about her for a long time. Months passed, and so we still had no word. Of course, none of us gave up hope. Erlen promised she'd be in touch, and she'd always follow through with her promises. One day, a box was left on my doorstep. It was addressed to the uh, Mayano family, with no return address. When we opened it up, the box was filled with an assortment of delicious treats. Aunt Demico confirmed they were for Belden delicacies. Inside was a note from Marilyn expressing that she was doing well in Belden. While she wished she could visit in person, she hoped the gifts would suffice until her next return. As much as we hoped to see her, we were relieved to hear things are going well. I mean, that's a consolation. As for myself and Kira, we're still writing the next chapter of our story. I wait impatiently in line, hoping the queue will move faster. The line extends outside the doors of our local bookstore. I'm glad I got here early. Ooh. <gasps> Kira made a book and got it published? What? The people chatter excitedly with each other, clutching their copies of the book to be signed. I recognize the characters on the cover, and I can't help but smile at the girl who moved to a new town and went through the motions of living, li of living until she met a boy. Holy crap. Fetch, man. <laughs> the story is all too familiar to me. That'd be a little, that'd be cool, but almost a little weird. Hey, there she is. As I reach the front of the signing table, I grin broadly at the girl with raven hair and exotic features. Can you, can you make it up to the boy who said yes? Kara blinks up at me before blooming to a broad smile. She gets up from behind the table to greet me. To your first book signing? I would to your first book signing, I wouldn't miss it for the world. A soft blush, blush dusts her cheeks as she squeezes me in a tight hug. As Kira's confidence has grown, she's become a lot bolder in showing her affection. To be honest, I'm glad you came. I didn't expect so many people. Aww, that's so cool! I'm not surprised. Your manga's so good. It's got a story that a lot of people could relate to. I tried to keep it true to form, with only a couple of embellishments. Some parts of the story are just for you and me to share. Good. Good. She glances at me, a coy smile on her face, before looking away, squeezing her hand. Squeezing her hand, I match her grin, then look behind me. I probably shouldn't hold up the line, though. She nods and then pauses. Will you stay with me a while longer? Absolutely. Of course. How long should I stay? A deep blush tints her cheeks. Forever. Through the sequel, and whatever comes after. Aww. I grin, feeling a warmth spread through my chest. A never-ending story with you sounds just perfect. Kira smiles warmly as I scoop her into my arms. Everything feels just right. I'm excited for what plot comes next for us. Aww, that was sweet. Super sweet. Finn. Yep, there it is. <sighs> Thank you for playing Ethereal Enigma. We hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely did. I've enjoyed everything that they've put out. Have they been perfect? No. Would I say this is perfect? No. Is it great? Absolutely. I'd highly recommend it to anybody who just wants a nice, comfortable romp in happiness. Uh oh. Yeah, so I don't know what this is all about. Well, let's see. Let's see the propaganda, huh? Thank you, Pixel Fade. I, I do want more, but thank you. Glad to hear it. Please look forward to a new adventure in the future. Farewell. They have already like revealed they have a new one. They're 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 starting right now. I'm guessing it'll be 
starting to come out probably next year. But again, they're probably going to release it by chapters, which is what Ethereal Enigma did. So if you want to keep an eye out for it, they follow them on their Steam uh, pages, of course, but their Discord is actually the most active place to go. It's actually pretty fun. They like to drop little teasers there. They often will like just meme it up. It's pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, like I, I'd highly recommend there. Like the, the Discord should be in the description. And if it's not for some reason, you should be able to find it easily through their Steam page, which I know is in the description of the, of the video. But yeah, so... Whilst this is a very short episode, <laughs> stupid me, I should have just continued last time. It would have been a little long, but that's fine. I think I was, I think I was tired, if I'm honest, last time. We are going to uh, wrap it up here, but before we move on to our next title, I'm going to be doing what's called a wrap party. If you haven't been a part of the channel long enough to know, that's simply where I go through and I talk about everything in the book, in, in the book, in the visual novel, including other endings that I don't showcase in my single playthrough. Thankfully for Ethereal Enigma, there's not a whole lot to cover there. I think it's, it's just like... I think there's technically a couple endings where you just don't end up with anybody. Uh, like, but I know that there's at least the Erlen route. Um, so we'll see about that. And there's hints that like you can have an it weird like a weirder Mina encounter. Um, I'm guessing if you are kind of like go down like hang out with her a lot and don't really like end up with anybody else, but I'm not sure. I think that like they could have just be doing that just to be meme because again, Pixel Fade have a good sense of humor. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But uh, yeah, I highly recommend you check it out. Um, we will be doing a wrap party. So that'll be a uh, live broadcast that'll be happening next Wednesday night. So it'll be uh, Wednesday night from my perspective, which is Eastern Standard Time, if you need to Google it up. Uh, but it should be around 10 o'clock and probably for about an hour, maybe a little less just because Ethereal Enigma, Enigma is not like the most complicated plot. So I'll probably just be going over the endings, things I like, things I didn't like, things I hope that they can improve on. And just overall, just kind of giving my thoughts. And I will also be announcing probably the beginning, just because I know that some people will be super intensely interested in what we will be covering next. And it's going to be an interesting one. I'm very excited about it. If you've been on the channel for any length of time, it's some, I'm going to be revisiting something. Well, I'm going to be visiting a story that I promised I would be visiting a while ago. It finally feels like it's the right time. And especially with Muff Love never end of ever stopping on my Mondays, I think it's about time we jumped into something that I've been teasing about going back to for a while, but haven't quite managed to yet. So hopefully you'll look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for being here. And thank you to the lovely patrons who are helping to support this channel directly and helping me to, to make more content. I'm currently in school, which is taking up a lot of my time, but do know that once school ends, I plan to like jump into more content than ever. And frankly, a part of me really wishes now I could just focus on making content. Like I'm, I suck at school. So we'll see. Part of me is wondering if I should just go full bore into this and like dedicate like eight hours a day to it. Like, this and maybe other kinds of content see what i could do see if i could make something more of it than just simply like a passion of mine a passion hobby of mine and the fact that some of you are there directly supporting me makes me feel like that it's actually like an achievable dream that is something that i can do that if i work hard and produce good content that i can push myself and become better and make something greater We'll have to see. Also, I guess like while I'm rambling about stuff into such a short video and I gotta, I don't know, like stretch it out. But I, hopefully if you're sticking around till this, like please listen to this real quickly. Um, next month, I will be going to New York, uh, New York uh, Anime Con. It's going to be, it's going to be happening. Um, like unless something crazy happens, like it's next month, it's going to be on like the 19th and tw uh, through the 21st of November. Uh, I'm going to be there the whole time. I'm going to be going to a few meetups. I was planning on doing a single cosplay. I'm actually thinking I'm going to do two cosplays. I'm going to do one that's personal for me where I want to dress up as Okabe. I'm also planning to potentially, as long as I get the, the costume worked out, because I've, I've already got it in the process. I just got to make sure it's ready by the deadline. But I'm also thinking of being the main character from Fate Grand Order and actually going to the Fate uh, cosplay get together, uh, which I think will be really, really fun. So uh, I'll make sure to make updates about that. I'll probably do like a cosplay like 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 but pre-show showing where I'll like do a quick video about it and talk about like why I want to do this and like why it's something that's captured me and why I feel more confident now. Uh, and confident enough to be able to do it and to give it a try like a real try not just like a like a like a garage sale type of try but like an actual like attempt um so it's something i'm really excited about it's something personal too like obviously it's just not a lot of people are into cosplay i think it's really fun and i like the idea of being able to like make something 
of myself, like a performance in a way. It's something I think I'm confident enough personally in doing, and I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. So hopefully I'll see some of you there. If there are any who are interested, please mention it in the Discord channel, like the channel Discord. That way I'll know I can set up like a meeting place. I'll kind of probably try and do that while I'm there if I haven't heard anything at all. But if I hear some of you beforehand, I'll do a little bit more research and like I'll figure out a time to beat up if you happen to be going. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. I appreciate every second you've been here. And until next video watching me, I'll see me next. I'll see you there.